Welcome back to the picturesque valley, surrounded by majestic mountains, where trees bloom with colorful leaves. The enchanted valley town invites you to another adventure of our brave heroes Liam and Noah. Of course, their parents cannot be missing. After all, the boys are eight and four years old. Today, our courageous and adventure-seeking little ones have a surprise prepared by their parents. Do you want to find out what it is? If so, let's begin. Liam and Noah were extremely excited when their parents told them they would have a guest staying with them from Saturday for a whole week. However, they didn't reveal who this mysterious guest would be. It was already Friday and the boys were becoming increasingly curious. They wondered who would visit them, who it could be. Finally, Saturday arrived. Ding dong, ding dong. The doorbell rang. The boys ran towards it simultaneously, but Dad was quicker. He slowly turned the key and opened the door. The boys peeked out from under Dad's arm and saw Uncle Wald. They were surprised because they knew that Uncle was supposed to go on vacation with the whole family for a week, so why was he going to stay with them for a week? Hi, boys, don't worry, I won't be staying with you, quickly said Uncle, seeing the confusion on Liam and Noah's faces. Holly is moving in with you. It turned out that Holly was not a person, but a dog. Uncle Wald was going on vacation with his entire family and asked their parents to take care of his faithful four-legged friend, Holly. Liam and Noah were excited at the thought of spending time with the dog. Many times the boys begged their parents for a dog. They even went with Dad to the shelter several times to bring food and toys for needy four-legged friends. They always begged, persuaded, and simply pestered their parents for a dog. But the parents always remained adamant, saying that a dog is a very big responsibility and they believe the boys are still a bit too young for such a challenge. And now they would have the opportunity to take care of Holly for a whole week. Holly immediately ran into the house and started cheerfully wagging her tail and engaging with Liam and Noah. Uncle left a pen, food, bowls, a leash, and Holly's favourite treats. He said goodbye and said, See you later, Holly. We'll see each other in a week. Just don't lick the boys too much, or they'll spoil. And Uncle started laughing. Indeed, Holly licked literally everything and everyone. She was a young two-year-old dog of adorable appearance and small size, a mixed breed. The boys knew Holly from the neighbourhood. It happened that aunt or uncle took Holly for a walk, and all the children ran up to them and petted Holly, who felt like in heaven because she had new people to lick. At first, mom and dad took the boys to the living room and explained how the week of looking after Holly would go. They explained that the boys were still too young to take Holly for walks by themselves. After explaining the rules and preparing a place for Holly's belongings, the whole family went for a walk. It was sunny outside, so the whole family decided to walk along the river, flowing through the valley. It's very green there, and Holly will have plenty of space to run around. Holly ran happily, the boys ran with her, and the parents smiled as they watched the children's joy. When the parents called the boys and Holly to return, it turned out that Holly didn't have the energy to keep going. The parents were sure that Holly loved long walks, but after playing with the boys, she didn't have the strength to walk back. Dad picked her up, and halfway back, Holly found her strength again and walked back home on her own. Hmm. We need to take shorter walks because Holly is tiny and just doesn't have the strength for such long distances, Dad said. I think so too. Once we rest after lunch, we'll take a walk around the neighbourhood, Mum said. Everyone returned to their duties. Liam did his homework. Noah started building a big block hut. Mum prepared lunch and Dad sat on the couch with Holly. After lunch, Mum went out with Noah and Holly for a walk because Liam was playing a board game with Dad and didn't want to interrupt. Holly turned out to be a very smart and obedient dog. When she needed to pee, she just went to the door and scratched the frame with her paw. When it was time for bed, Holly had her pen prepared in the living room. Everyone went to their beds and silence fell in the house. Suddenly, the parents heard the gentle tapping of paws on the floor. First, Holly quietly entered the bedroom. She slowly climbed onto the bed and lay down between the parents' legs. Dad was already asleep, and Mom didn't mind Holly warming her feet. 
Days went by, Monday came, and the whole family returned to their daily activities and duties. The boys went to school and kindergarten, and the parents went to work. Holly spent a lot of time with Dad, who enjoyed every moment with her. He went to the store in the morning and accompanied the boys. In the afternoon, he walked to school and kindergarten with her. Liam and Noah were very proud that Holly picked them up. They were even more delighted when their friends saw the dog because it was impossible to ignore Holly. Mom took over the evening walks. She went out with Holly alone or with Liam because Noah was usually very tired. It was the same on Thursday afternoon. Mom, Liam and Holly went out beyond the housing estate. It was already quite dark and cloudy, but they decided to walk a bit further so that Holly could run around before bedtime. Walking along the forest path, suddenly Holly started growling and barking quietly to the surprise of Mom and Liam because she had never done that before. Mum glanced to the right side of the forest where Holly was looking. Behind a few bushes, she noticed a herd of small wild boars. She immediately stopped, quietly told Liam to slowly back away and the three of them calmly moved away from the group of boars. So Holly saved Mom and Liam's skin. Nervous wild boars can be dangerous, especially when they are with their young. If it weren't for Holly's keen sense of smell, the whole trio would have had to climb a tree. Upon returning home, Mom and Liam told their adventure to Dad. Everyone was impressed by Holly, who discreetly signaled danger. Days passed, and Saturday was approaching, which meant the return of uncle and aunt. The whole family had grown very accustomed to Holly's presence, but they knew they had to give her back. This time, Antonio came for Holly, Uncle Wald's son, who was actually Holly's owner. The dog was very happy to see Antonio and had trouble controlling her joyful emotions. Before leaving, Holly licked everyone goodbye. The family sat at the table in the living room and discussed the past week. Everyone agreed that Holly is adorable and very clever. They realised how big a responsibility owning a dog is because rain or shine, you have to go outside with the dog. Sometimes going on vacation can also be a problem because you can't always take the four-legged friend with you. Plus, Holly was already trained in everything. She indicated her needs by herself and deciding to get a puppy means you have to teach them everything. To the surprise of the parents, the boys understood that they still need to grow up a bit before having their own dog and realised what a responsibility it is. Of course, to console themselves, they already arranged with Antonio for a walk with him and Holly the next day. Goodbye. Goodbye.